Alright, so here we are with the current iteration of the FSA electric race car motor setup. We've got two motor controllers here driving two MRAX motors and they've got a torque transducer between them. Now this little display back here in nice pretty blue we can see in newton meters exactly how much torque is present at that junction. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use this power supply here to turn the right hand motor and then the left hand motor will regenerate back into our battery that's sitting on the table there. Power supply will be running at about 60 volts. Battery is currently somewhere under 100. This is going to be nice and slow, only a little bit of torque that will show the capability of regen of our motor controllers. First step here is to enable the voltage on the power supply. Let it ramp up. You can see we've got nearly 60 volts here. We're ready to enable the two motor controllers. If you hear a faint noise, it's on the right hand motor, it's active braking for a command of speed of zero. And there's still a little bit of noise on the left hand motor, even though we're in torque command mode there. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, if you can see me there, command a forward, I'm actually gonna command a reverse speed of um, 500, which is meaningless, but it's nice and slow. So you can see right now both motors are joined together, but the right hand one is driving. Now something we're going to have to work out is in this motor, reverse is towards the wall as you can see. In the left hand motor that we're getting regen on, reverse is away from the wall. So that'll work very well. So we'll pretend that this setup is going forwards right now. I'm going to pull up on the computer a lab view window that shows two dials. The second one, or the bottom one, is the amount of reverse torque that I want to put in. So I'm going to use this remote CAN analog command here to dial in a little bit of reverse torque. Now there's going to be some delay here, so it'll take a few seconds to kick in. Just dial in a tad there, and then after the delay you can see the second pot will hopefully jump up a little bit. There we go. Sound changes slightly because you can see the power supply is now having to put in nearly 6 amps for back torque, which is impressive. Our torque transducer shows about 30, 31 newton meters of force between the two, and all of that is going right back into our battery here. So I'm going to take that reverse torque command away, and you can see this will, after some delay, jump back down to zero. Obviously we're going to have to fix the delay before we get someone in the car, because you want the car to slow down when you let go of the pedal. And we're happily turning again at the same speed. You can see our power supply is back down to well under an amp because the only torque it has to go against is the torque of friction of the setup. More to come.